Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. We use the internet every day. To some users, the internet is Google, while to others, the internet is social media. To my wife, the internet is online shopping. However, the internet is more than what we have experienced. The internet is global system of interconnected computing devices. It is the network of networks. The internet not only includes webs, the World Wide Web, but also includes email and messaging services, telephony, file sharing systems, streaming media services, games, and many more. It is beyond what any search engine can reach. For some reason, every time I talk about the internet, one song pops into my head with lyrics like this: <clears throat> "Wider than your arms can reach, taller than the trees, higher than the stars above." Deeper than the sea. The song is called "Wide, High, Long, Deep." It is about God's love, which, by the way, is much bigger and deeper than the internet. Today, my topic is not about God or God's love, but about three layers of the internet. Surface net, deep net, and dark net. <laughs> the surface net is the visible part of, of the internet. By visible, I mean is from the perspective the web search engines such as Google, Bing, Yahoo, or DuckDuckGo. Any websites that search engine can index and find belong to the surface net, or sometimes we call it open net. The internet is like a huge iceberg floating in the ocean. Here comes me and my little fishing boat. All I can see through my binoculars, my search engines, is the top part of iceberg above the water. YouTube, Facebook, Google, Amazon, Twitter, just to name a few. There are more than one billion websites over there. But from a statistical standpoint, this collection of websites make up less than five percent of the internet. The majority of the internet is invisible, inaccessible, or unavailable to public users. Let me dive into the water to see what the rest of the iceberg looks like. The deep net. The deep net is much bigger than the surface net. It's nearly impossible to discover exactly how many websites and data are active at any given time. In case you are wondering how to access the deep net. Chances are you are already use it. The deep net refers to all webs that are not searchable by search engines, such as companies' email accounts, bank accounts, or internal business information and databases. Deep net may be concealed behind passwords or internet security firewalls. The majority of content in a deep net is not for public users. The dark net. Let's go to the dark net. Hello. Hello. Is anyone here? It's very dark and scary here. But do not be so scared. The dark net is not so dark as what the press has described. The dark net is a collective websites, just like surface net, but dark net is not 
accessible using normal browsers like Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. The darknet is only accessible by a specialized web browser, Tor browser, and you can download Tor browser at torproject.org forward slash download. The darknet has a lot of websites similar to the surface net, such as news, social media, forums, games. There are also some illegal sites, of course. Is it safe to access and browse the darknet? The answer is yes, but also no. If you do not randomly download files and software, you are safe. Is it legal to access and browse the darknet? Yes, it's legal. There's nothing wrong to go to the darknet, but it is against the laws if you participate in illegal activities like selling or buying drugs. Using the Tor browser in the darknet, users seek out to be protect themselves from tracking, surveillance, and censorship. This gives the journalists, whistleblowers, criminals, and the like a free hand. They can create and host anonymous websites offering just about anything. To some, the darknet is a means to achieve a freedom, while to others, it's no more than a lawless wild, wild west. Just like anything in life, you can use it for good and you can use it for evil. It's all up to you. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.